What up YouTube, it's Danny. And today, we have a package from none other than Michael Pacheco, or as we like to call him, Michael Potato. And so, let's get into it. Now, Michael stumbled upon this, when I'm about to open, at a uh, flea market. He told me about it, didn't know much about it. I knew exactly what it was, and I thought it would be essential to my collection. So, let me rip through this bag with the knife I finally found. It was, it was under a bunch of boxes that had already opened. So, uh, so. But anyway, so he's put it in considerable amount of, of bubble wrap, which I appreciate. So. So, it's, if you can already tell, it looks like we're going back in time just a little bit from what I'm about to pull out of here. Look familiar? Now, what's so special about an old iPod? Well, this edition is HP. Back when Apple had the HP partnership. So look how thick this thing is. Definitely is used, you know. I didn't expect it to be I didn't expect it to be perfect in perfect condition. It's not, it's scratched up. That's how you're gonna find them these days. But the fact that it's all here, it's not broken, at least externally not broken, says a lot. So real quick, let me put this in the middle of the frame and zoom in. Slowly. All right, there we go. I'm going to look up the partnership because I don't fully know exactly what why HP was on this. So I just remember it when I was younger. HP iPod. Okay, so straight from Wikipedia, it says the Apple iPod plus HP is an Apple iPod 4G with an HP logo on the back, distributed through HP, as you can see. On January 8th, 2004, Carly Fiorina announced the Apple iPod Plus HP deal consumer electronics show. So this is this was originally at CES 2004, so it's pretty cool. Let's see. The Apple iPod Plus HP was originally to have come in HP Blue, but obviously white beats blue in my opinion. HP Blue is ugly, in my opinion, also. Initially, HP only offered the 20 and 40 gigabyte fourth generation iPods. HP later decided to add the iPod Mini, the iPod Photo, and the iPod Shovel to the lineup. As, they, as these were officially HP products rather than Apple products, Apple Store Genius bars were not authorized to repair Apple iPod plus HP iPods, and they had to be sent into an HP authorized service center for repair despite identical designs. Wow, because the logo on the back Apple would not work on their own iPod, even though it's technically an HP product, I guess. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Deal termination. On July 29th, 2005, HP announced that it would terminate its deal with Apple. Even though the deal would be terminated, part of the deal says that HP cannot make a rival digital music player until August 2006, making it almost three years since the deal was made in January 2004. HP continued to pre-install iTunes on its home computers until January 6, 2006, when HP announced a partnership with Real Networks to install Rhapsody on HP and compact branded Home Player. Uh, wow, that's a horrible written sentence. On, listen to this. On, let's see. To install Rhapsody on HP and compact branded Home Player under the HP br brand. It should have been Home Players, but anyway. So yeah, so there you go. There's a little failed, little failed business deal with the HP iPod. Technically, I guess this is considered an HP product and not an Apple product, but obviously Apple's on the back as well as HP. So what you have here is a piece of failed business deal history, which is why I wanted to buy it off Michael. I knew there was something special about the HP iPods. And uh, yeah, just goes to show you the deal didn't last more than two years, you know? So will this be worth something someday? Who knows, I don't know. 
but it is going into my ever-growing Apple collection. I have an Apple collection full of vintage Macs, vintage iPods, including this one now, as well as other things. So that is a video I'm going to make separate someday. It's just I don't have the time. It's not all organized yet because they're throughout the whole house. I have some in here, some in the basement, some in storage. So yeah, one of these days I'll have a video where I have every Apple product in one video. But until then, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.